Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm pretty sure this is part 12 of Paraplays West of Loathing. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. And um, oh yeah, we just bought a whole bunch of stuff from this store, including a pickaxe. So now we have options. We have options of places we can go. We need to go back to pretty much every mine we've been to. Uh, Coal Ridge Mine, first on the list. We're gonna do it. You pass an abandoned campsite, an old crate crashes your eye. On closer inspection, you find it's nailed shut. Maybe the campers used to sit on it, then forgot <coughs> then forgot to take it with them. Their loss is your gain if you have a crowbar to pry it open with. Open that ass up. Got ranch punched. That's actually pretty good. Like if you're one of like, those cow puncher people. A lock, nerve pills, that's really good. Cures poison. <clears throat> okay, surgical gin. Uh, all right. All right, is there anything that we can obtain from this mine? Let's see a look around. It's our first mine. There it is. Mine that ass. See? 60 meat. That's awesome. And I still need... Okay, so I need rope. I gotta write that down on my, my journal. Rope. Coal Ridge Mine. All right. Let's go ahead and head out. What else we got? The Big Apple, Potomkin Gang, Circus, Humming Cave. Let's check out the Humming Cave, my dudes. Surely there's something that needs a pickaxe in there. Some oddly shaped rocks, that's fine. Nothing to worry about there. What do we got here? Anything to mine on? Oh, that's the weird teleporter. Damn it. Ugh. Let's try to wander. You come across a goblin marching around the woods. They're taller than the typ typical goblin, probably because their boots are taller than the typical goblin boots. In fact, these boots are so tall, they must be half stuffed with socks to keep the tops from jamming the goblin in the groin. The goblin sees you and marches over, attempts to look intimidating instead of awkward. Hey, hey human, what are you doing in this place? This is my ground to stomping. Do you mean stomping grounds? What? Uh, let's talk to it. Your boots are very tall, I am seeing. Yes, tall boots to havoc, so also tall I am. That's cool, but they, they're very uncomfortable seeming, very. I to have no, I am to having no sensation in my feet now. This is fine. Oh, I need, I need a bigger out box in. I guess we just have to attack the goblin. Uh, I'll just bean his ass up. Lava plava, dude. All right, and then that's over. I got jack boots, plus four muscle, and a guffin? Increases your nothing by zero for the rest of the day? Okay? All right, where? Gotta go back up, gotta talk to her, gotta know what my side quests are. All right. Take this. Okay, so we gotta go. Need help retrieving the relics. All right, can't do that until tomorrow. Need five chunks. I only have two. Potomkin gang. I don't remember what their deal was. And then just ask people in dirt. All right, so two two people say I need to go to dirt water. So, or two two sub quests say I need to go back to dirt water. So that's that's where I'm gonna go. You notice a smoldering hole in the ground and recognize it as the habitat of the southeastern west southeast western coal snake. They keep to themselves mostly, but they're also known to enjoy a fight if one is thrust upon them. Uh, thrust a fight upon it, dude. Oh wow. Oh crap! I closed my game. Just hit it with your giant bone. That's it. That's all we needed. Plus three moxie on the hat. Not bad. All right, just gotta find out who who needed what. Guess it's time to just go talk to the town folks. Doesn't look like in the mood to talk. That's my partner. Shot of bourbon. You. Okay. Who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Aylesbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to tell his stories, but nobody would buy him. Too weird his story. Fantastical like. Well, it don't matter much now anyway. He did get normal work and make ends meet. 
Did pass him well as prospector, until one day he lost his mind in a mine. You know what I mean, he saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop thinking near completely come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays. Seems to calm him down. Not long as, uh, and as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Uh, he has some darts. There's a sign on the door. All the darts bro broke months ago. Need help with anything? All right, well. They fell asleep fighting each other. If your angry level gets higher than two, you'll pass out from rage. Oh. All right, got a new mine. Okay. Oh, I don't want to sleep yet. There's still things I can accomplish on this on this first day. Let me see, dynamite. Hmm. Nah, that dy dynamite Dan sells it cheaper. I think he sells them for like twenty. Don't got any mail. All right, well. Anything in the j Hey, there's two new jail people. The Black Hat Bandits for horse theft and selling a counterfeit glue. Uh, last seen it headed north of the old millinery. Oh, I already have those signs. All right, well. Hey, hot dogs. <laughs> well, if it isn't my old saver, good old giant pants. Howdy yourself. Uh, your sign outside. Yeah, to change the name. Try to file a trademark, but it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me. You don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, single letter removed. I'm in business. I'll go ahead and buy something. Holy crap. See, now these are the items we need. Let's take two of each. Perfect. Now I'm like ready for... For anything that happens to be coming at me. It's said to ask people here for help, but... I don't see anybody needing help. Oh. His eyes light up. Well, one of them does. The other is kind of stuck in a perpetual squint. Does this belong to you? He takes his helmet from you. It takes a moment for him to find his voice. It does. Long ago. I... I don't suppose there was anything else uh, where you found it. Give him his bottle of laudanum and... That's the stuff. C could I? Go ahead and... There you go. He cracks the bottle open and drinks deeply. After a few moments, his demeanor changes entirely. He looks like a man 20 years younger. Would you like to hear a story? Uh... Sure. Ellsbury tells you a tale about an otherworldly, swelteringly hot desert where ethereal ghosts are besieged by miniature machines. Something about that story... You really lost yourself in it. 30 experience. Thanks, Ellsbury. If you ever want to express your gratitude in a more tangible way, you know the trick. All right. Try to fix him. You lift up the player piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on the back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Pick that lock. You open the latch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the plinkering and spruinging and clicking noises coming out of the gears and stuff. It's pretty complicated. Ah, oh, I see what's wrong. You recalibrate some springs and rearrange some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music immediately improves. Uh, no. Oh, so for every bottle of Lathanum I get it, I give him, he gives me 30 experience? I'll buy some slop. Let's see here. Hey, Lloyd. I fixed the piano, piano player, player, player piano player for you. I thought so. He sounds much better. Thanks a heap, giant pants. I'd offer you a free room of exchange, but you've already got one. Let's see. Need any help with anything? Nope. Everything's right as rain here. If you're looking for work, you might not. Okay, so the jailhouse. So I'm pretty much done here. Does my partner have anything to say? Of the nuns in the old mission above the sab catacombs. Okay, millinery bandits. The chef in dirt water. Where the frick is the chef? That's the poker room. Oh, kitchen. This dude. Nope. There you go. That's stuff. Thanks. Okay. The next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper. Because it's really spicy? 
No, because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They grow them out of the area outside of town. You should be able to find one if you just wander around a while. Alright, so go outside the town and wander. You catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. You trace it to its source. A vividly colored red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. This must be the southeast western murder pepper that the feller at the jewel was looking for. Grab that bitch! Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it into your rock rucksack before it can do any more damage. Alright, well, let's go ahead and head back and get this taken care of. Damn it! I didn't want to go to the poker room. All right, take your pepper. Yes, got 11 experience. All right, well, if you're looking for stuff to do, I need somebody to check my mail. I ordered a new saute knife, but I ain't got the time to fetch it for myself. So here's the key to my post office. All right, I know where to go. That's fine. I can take care of this little errand for you real quick. With my crazy legs. This is how my mother taught me to walk. Are you gonna disrespect her? And that's how my dad taught me to walk. I'm a saute knife, even though you're even though you're holding it, you're pretty sure there's no such thing as a saute knife. Anyway, it's too thin to use as a weapon, so it's not even worth stealing. <clears throat> ah. Ah, there we go. Back on over to the kitchen. Our little fetch quest. Here. Got another 11 experience. Okay. I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I used to have this friend with for a very secret jerk sauce, but my I used to have a recipe for a very secret jerk sauce, but my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me. And then he Oh, we gotta go to the Dave yard. And then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally. I mean he was buried with it. He he's dead, he won't mind. Alright, so Dave J, we're going to the Dave Yard. This is all starting to come together. Uh, Dave Yard, Dave Yard. What the hell? There it is. Let me see here. Off to one side of the trail, you see a covered wagon and a small family of setters, settlers who look upset. Uh, you folks okay? We're on our way to Dirtwater, but our wagon bent and broke on us. That's rough. You're liable to get attacked by bandits out here. Or snakes, or coyotes, or ghosts, or the other things that basically live exclusively on stranded travelers. Isn't there anything you'll do to help us? Uh... Susie, you know about wagons and stuff, right? You think you can fix this? Reckon. Susie crawls under the wagon and pokes around for a moment, and then reappears and ch chucks a dead rat over her shoulder. Rat in your carburetor. She'll be fine out. Wagons have carburetors? What? All right, I'll take that 15 experience, son. Wait, can I buy new stuff? Let me see. 100 experience. What should I get? Three hundred experience. Hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Where's Dave J? Dave B. Dave C. Dave J. Give me that shit. You dig, you dig up the grave and pry open a coffin. Instead of corpse, it contains a garbage bag? Strange. You reach into the garbage bag and you're surprised to find it full of pudding. No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? Keep digging. You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sodden lump from the bottom. You unglove the wad and dry it off, then wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. All right, well, we're going back to uh, Dirtwater now. We're on our way, fam. We're making forward progress. Silversmith's house. Uh, nah, let's just keep where we're going. We can go back there when we're heading north. wrap up this, uh, I'm gonna skate past my haters into the kitchen. You got that recipe yet? The one my jerk friend Dave J took to his grave? Yeah, I got it. Thanks a million, baby. Now my swap will be world famous. 11 XP. Here, let me give you a little something for all your trouble. It fell in the slot, but it's still good. Sloppy chef's hat. Hey, that's actually a really good hat. Um. Alright, so sloppy chef's hat, and then let me see. Is there, like, miscellaneous? 
Coal snake skin. There it is. Yas, queen. Plus three mysticality and seven damage. We leveled up, fam. And I think that's going to do it for today's episode of West of Loathing. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like uh, if you enjoyed this video. Comment, let me know what you thought down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And above all else, thanks again for spending some time with me. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.